What's going on guys, Townflame HD here, and welcome to the 17th episode of the FIFA 17 Sunderland career mode. So, last game, or last episode, sorry, we played three games. We had a 3-0 win against Crystal Palace in the FA Cup 5th round, Armstrong getting two and, uh, and HB getting the third. A 3-0 win against Tottenham in the league, uh, Barini, Rashford and Mbappe getting those. And we also won 1-0 against Southampton in the AFL Cup final. Uh, Armstrong getting that goal very late on. So, last episode was a kind of a toughie for me, but I was happy with it. We have Everton in our next game at Goodison Park, so it's a weird game. And we're also 23 points clear of Chelsea. So, let's get into the Everton game. Let's see if we can get three points, because Everton are in the relegation zone, so it should be a kind of an easy game, because they don't have Lukaku up front, so it, they shouldn't pose much threat. And here we have it guys, the second team is the team I'm going to be using for this game, so Minoni in goal, back four of Moreno, Denaya, McNair and Yedlin, a midfield four of Piazza, Endong, Rodwell and Watmore, with Barini and Rashford up front. Three points on the board, let's go for it. Piazza, Rashford, back into Piazza, beautiful play, I like this. Piazza, into Rashford, beautiful, fucking beautiful. Love that. Love that. That was beautiful play. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love that. That This little ball into Rashford and the first time finish. Oh, that was beautiful. I like that. I definitely like that. That's 1 0. That was a good goal. Rodwell. Endong. Barini. Rashford. Endong. Beautiful play. Finish that. <laughs> that was fucking beautiful. That was Barcelona-esque. Like, what the fuck? Oh, nah. I'm so high. <laughs> Didn't know if you could tell. That was amazing. That was beautiful play. 2-0. That's a pen. He's tackled well. It's a good challenge. It's led to a corner. That's not a pen. That's a corner. Are you serious? Piazza with one in the near post. It's into my nah! It's beautiful! That combo is so fucking deadly. I love that. What a well worked goal. McNair, come on. Is that McNair's first goal for the club? It is. I'm just checking the list here, and I can't see McNair's name on it, so he's got... He has his first goal for the club. 3-0. Rashford steals it away from Williams. That's a pen. That is a pen all day. Dirty. These days, going off your feet like that is running the risk of the referee taking serious action. Well, Rashford, I'm sorry, but you won't be taking it because Mbappe will be. Kylan Mbappe takes the pen. It's 3 0. No, 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 it's not. Sorry, it's 4. Had no doubt Mbappe had the ability to put that away. I know he's only got 64 penalties, but I like the young kid. It's a very good penalty, to be fair. And there we have it. Everton getting beat 4 0, remain in the relegation zone. McNair, who scored a really good header for the third goal. Rashford. Rashford, 5. It's. I really don't need to comment anymore. Like, it's too easy. Once we go 2 or 3 nil up, like, there's holes in the defence and Rashford is just exploiting them. 5 nil, And that is full time in this game, guys, and we've won 5 nil against Everton at Goodison Park. Like, wow. Sorry, Koeman. Goals coming from Rashford, Ndong, McNair and Mbappe. We'll get into the second game in just a second, but... 
you're fucking five nil, man. Could have so easily been more. Just saying. And we are into the second game now, guys. And we have Manchester City at the Stadium of Light. Going with the first team. Pickford's up to 80 rated. Yana's eyes up to 80. Uh, looks like a couple of, up, couple of other players have grown as well. So we're going to get into the game now and let's go for those three points again. Counter attack. Keita. Deal ball to Keita. Gets a shot off. It's a good save by Rulli. Oh. I genuinely thought he'd scored there or Kirchhoff was going to go in the way. But it is another corner. Yanazai swings the ball in. And Nietzsche is at the back post. But company heads it away. Armstrong. Nutmeg Sanya. Oh! <laughs> Get nutmegged, you little French shit. That was brilliant. Oh, I, I, I enjoyed that goal. <laughs> 20 minutes into the game, we're one, we're one love already. Like, come on. Nice full time in this game, guys, and we've won 1 0 against Manchester City. Not happy with the performance. You're only going to see the one highlight, which will be the goal. But to be fair, there was a lot of misplaced passing, a lot of, like, needlessly, like, really poor possession keeping by us, ball retention by us. Man City piled on the pressure in the second half with De Bruyne, Sterling, and I think it was A. Nacho that had a few shots. Pickford managed to save them. But, very poor performance from us. It's a 1 0 win, but I don't care. We'll get into the third and final game now, and hopefully it's a better performance than this. Alright then, guys, third and final game. It is in the FA Cup quarter final, and it is against Sheffield Wednesday. So, second team, seeing as we've just used the first team and they're a bit tired two days after this, after the last game. We've got Mark, Mark Clattenburg as the referee, so I'm not happy with that. But let's get into this game, and let's go through the next round. Right, yeah, Stephen Fletcher, as in former Sunderland striker, Stephen Fletcher. Forgot about him. Well... He's definitely a danger, I'm not going to lie. So let's get into this and, like I say, next round. Barini. Piazza. Double tap cross. And Dong, 1-0. I don't care. Sheffield Wednesday were playing very, very Barcelona-esque in terms of tiki-taka football. And it was really starting to annoy me. So... Sweaty goal, 1 0. Yeah, Barini. That is Erby Emanuels then. What more? Double tap cross, Rodwell, 2 0. I say double tap, it's triple tap really, but two practically identical goals, two different goal scorers. We're going through the next round. Sorry, I do apologise. My eye was itchy, my hair fever's up again. But yeah, 2 0. Substitution guys, Barini off and Bappi on just like the first game. Not happy with Barini now. He's really annoying, he's sluggish, he's just not pulling his weight in the team. So I'm thinking about swapping him out in the second team now and just starting Mbappe. Um Barini, who's only got four goals this season, like is unacceptable. Denier. Ball over the top. Mbappe. Or Rashford even. Rodwell, 3-0. That was very, very sloppy, but I don't care. We're going through it the next round, regardless. It's 3-0. I'm being relentless because Barini has really, really annoyed us. 
I take my gameplay seriously, and when a player doesn't perform the way I need him to, like it sort of impacts the whole team. It, it impacts how I play the game. And just Barini's just Barini's really annoyed us, guys. He really has. I'm so glad he's gone here. Same fucking Milan. Duncan Watmore. Rashford. Kylian Mbappe, 4 0. Four sweaty goals. Or four, well, four really low caliber goals. But again, ruthless. Going for as many as I can. And that is 4 0. Uh, come full time, guys. Not happy at all. Barini's really like impacted my mentality for this game. Like I've got no words. Like I don't want to start ranting because I'll never stop. But let's just say that come the end of the season, should I or should we decide to do a second season of this? Barini's gone. I'm, I've had enough of him, and Mbappe is now taking his place in the second team. Cause. I really don't like Barini now. He's had his last chance. And he's fucking he's completely fucked it up. Four goals this season. Four goals. I know that he played like part of the season at left mid, but since he's been at striker, he hasn't scored a single goal. So no. Out the team. And this is the Premier League table at the end of the episode. We still sit top of the Premier League table, currently unbeaten. Uh, 74 goal, 74 goal difference, 79 points. Chelsea are second on 53 points, so we are 26 points clear of the Premier League. Technically, we've won the league now. Like, we only have 10, no we don't, we have 11 games to go. So, four episodes, I had to, I had to count there, but come four episodes time, that's it. Two more months and we've completed this series, so to speak. Well, we've completed one season. Manchester Manchester, <laughs> Manchester United are third on 45. Crystal Palace are fourth on 45. Stoke are fifth on 45. So, things are looking very weird in the Premier League. Man City, Spurs and Arsenal are all out of the top four. Liverpool are mid-table, and Everton, Burnley, and Watford. So Leicester's now out of the pre Leicester have climbed out of the relegation zone. Watford have gone in. Right, interesting. But it looks like Burnley and Everton are relegated. So, Seamus Coleman. But this is going to be the end of the episode, so thank you so very much for watching. If you've got any suggestions for the series, put them in the comment section down below. Uh, if you want me to do a second season or stream a second season, I can do that. Um, just let me know what you want me to do with that in the comment section down below. Because we will have Champions League football. So thank you so very much for watching. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. If you're liking the series and want to see some more, drop a thumbs up as well. It would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys later.